is an absolutely stunning Dvartair from Rabbi Yosef Tzvi Dushinsky. Zatzal, Maritzal Atair. And it's so practical, the lesson Mamish Mamish we can learn from this. In Dvarim, there's a Rashi that says that Yaakov told Ruvain on his deathbed, he gave him Musa. And he told Ruvain, Ruvain Bni, my dear son, how come I didn't give you Teichacha all of these years? You know how long that Yaakov waited from when Ruvain did what he did until his deathbed, until he gave Musa to him? How long was it? 47 or 48 years. How long do we wait? 48 seconds. Halavai. I wish. If only. She so says, how come Yaakov didn't give Musa to Ruvain right away? Why did he wait so long? So that way Ruvain shouldn't leave me. He shouldn't leave me. And go and be medabek and become connected to Ace of my brother. There's a lot of pshatim. Listen to what he says. He says, he asks a question. If Dashinsky asks, what do you mean? He's going to give him Teichacha and he's going to go off the, off the derech? OTD is going to go be like Esav? That's what he was worried about? Tarach bir. Chimishum shiachichenu kfar yelech v'yedabek be'esav harasha? Reuven did something wrong. He give, you, have to, you have to give him Teichacha. You have to give him a punishment. You have to criticize him. He's going to go off the derech? He was scared? V'yesh levar. That Yaakov Avinu said... If I am going to constantly rebuke this kid, and every time he does something wrong, I'm telling him, no, don't put it here. You did this. Why'd you do this? How'd you do this? You know, helicopter parents, but not the good kind of helicopters. Controlling, angry, punishing constantly. And Ruven's going to know, that his father knows, his parents, father means parents, knows everything he's doing. The Ain of Tom and the Suicide Love, he's constantly looking at him. Right, you know, a big part of parenting is you don't have to see everything. So what's going to happen? Az Yishmar is atzmi mimenu. Reuven's going to protect himself from his father. Kishir tzelas is davar ma, and when he's going to want to do something not so good, yelech bechadrich adam, he's going to go into the into the room. How many of your kids are in the bath in the bathroom for two hours because they can't do what they're doing and um, watch a movie outside, so they go in the bathroom for two hours? Right, he's going to go into his room. Uve mistarim and where where nobody could see him kedei shelo yivad al of myself because he's scared he doesn't want his father to know what to do so we think oh good then you're not going to do it no kids are going to do stuff but he's just going to make sure that you don't see him because he can't take your constant criticism uve mei lo lo yuchol be emes lo daktikolov the lacher myself vidrachov and therefore he can't really deal with him if you don't know your kid you can't help him. So he can't be medactical of the lacher of to know where he's up to, and he can't really be a part of his life because everything that the kid does, he's going to do in closed doors. So then you're not in his life. You're getting the external layers. Yeah, Tati, everything's good. Yeah, I went to Davin. Meanwhile, he didn't even go to shul, and you don't know about it. Oh, yeah, she's going out in a base Yaakov uniform, and on the corner, they pull it up, and it becomes a miniskirt. They pull it down, and you think, you think that's Chenoch? You don't know your kid. So he says, if I don't know my kid, I can't be mechanachim. So if I'm going to criticize him, I'm not going to know my kid. Criticism is not chinuch. It's one type of thing that sometimes you can do, but you can lose the whole relationship of openness. And then you can't be mechanach, you can't educate them because you don't know where he's up to. Therefore, his skill, Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov Avinu had seichel. We should be as smart as Yaakov Avinu. We can learn from him. And he didn't give Teichacha rebuke all those years in, because, because he shouldn't think that my dad's on top of me. What was Yaakov's Mida? Emes. What was Esav's Mida? Sheker. Esav used to show his father Ramais, used to fool his dad. Right? Because he didn't want his father to know that he's a bad guy. So he would go outside and do all the avarice in the world. He would come inside and he would look like a very yeshivish guy and he asked questions. How do you give meiser on salt? And how do you this and do that? Why? Because he wanted to fool his father. It was Mida of Sheker. Yaakov said, 
This was Yaakov's kavana. When he says, you know why I didn't give my son Teichacha all these years? That he shouldn't go and be medabek in the midah of my brother. That what? He was worried that his kid is going to take on Uncle Esav's identity in the way he deals with his father. And then, I don't know what I'm dealing with. How is Ben Ismanim? Yeah, I'm going to go learn. I went to shul. I went to, and he's a liar, like Uncle Esav. I'm Midas Emes. I want to have an open relationship with my kid. I want to be there for you. I want to hold your hand through your struggles. I want to give you chizuk. You do teichacha, you shut down the relationship. And now you have a fake relationship. And then how are you going to help the kid? How are you going to be there for them? It's better that I shouldn't give this criticism, rebuke. Right? So that way I should be able to be in his life and I'll know properly where he's holding so I can, in a very smart, non-confrontational way, help, help my child. We have influence. We have so much we can teach them. But once they're fooling us and they're floating away from us because they took on the clothing of Esav, the midah of Esav, of Sheker. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Why didn't Yaakov give Teichacha for 48 years? You shouldn't leave my path of being open and honest and having an open relationship, open dialogue. The Selech and go and be medabic in the mida of my brother Esav of fooling your parents and doing whatever you want and just looking like you're the good kid. That's what Yaakov was scared. So he closed his mouth for 47, 48 years. Now, we know our kids... When we give rebuke, teichacha, they shut down, and we know how many kids that we're losing who have double lives, and the parents say, well, I think everything's fine, and meanwhile, the people on the street know with how, how far this kid is. Everybody else knows besides mom and dad, because a lot of them, they're just hiding it, because I don't want the grief. I'd rather just not have you in my life than deal with you. I have enough going on, I have enough to deal with, I'm on overload, and now I gotta deal with you, I gotta answer to you, I gotta explain myself to you, when the truth is, there is no explanation for dysfunction. And the truth is, if somebody saw you all of a sudden doing an Avera, and the lights go on, and Hashem says, explain yourself. What, you have a reason for your dysfunction? <laughs> we have a reason why we sin? We sin because we're human, because we mess up. We're gonna, we have to explain it, but on our kids, we put the spotlight on them, we grill them. Didn't we make up? Didn't we say it? Uh, we, can't, we don't give them the, the human thing that they're struggling and it's hard for them. And we think that we have to be so tough. Meanwhile, Yaakov Avinu couldn't be tough. It's not an American concept. We're going to be tough on our kids and expect them to be open with us. It's insanity. Yaakov says, it's better for me to have a relationship with my kid where he can be open with me and I can find smart ways to influence him other than if I rebuke him, teichacha, rebuke, criticism, and then he just shuts down. He doesn't tell me who he is. I'm not in his life. He's struggling all alone. He's, he feels all alone, which adds to the struggle. And instead of me carrying him and being there with him, at least holding his hand, I don't even know who I'm dealing with. That's what he says. That's what Yaakov is worried about. So beautiful, 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 beautiful.